Good morning, guys. We're going to do a little bit of an update on those bombs that I made yesterday. And it's not really a mix of coffee chat, but I guess kind of it is because it's Saturday, which I don't normally do coffee chats on Saturday, so it's not technically coffee chat. This is an update for the bombs video that I did yesterday. So I have to have a coffee, so just kind of combine. This is a rarity for me to do a video on a Saturday. But, okay, a couple questions. I've had a couple questions. How do I, first of all, how do you dry the bombs so you don't get that flat spot? This here is a cupcake tray. Can you see the bottoms? It's a cupcake tray with, I have a cloth. Usually I have a towel on it. And then I have a, um, a pillowcase so it's softer. This one I just doubled. Uh, if I can show you. I doubled up the pillowcase. And then I have like a, f a foam piece on there so the bombs don't stick. Okay? They fit nicely in the dents of the cupcake holes. So you don't get that flatness. Okay, so anyways, I want to show you what happened. Um, I'm trying to remember here. The little, um, when I did the meatballers, a couple of them, like you saw how tight I had to squeeze, um, a few of them have cracked, if you can see that. Um, I would assume by the size of them that these were the first ones that I squeezed really, really tight. The ones towards the end where I was running out of mix and it was lo um, lower did not crack, which is rare because sometimes when your mix isn't enough, they can crack too because the, um, there's not enough pressure in there and they pull apart at the seams. But these ones are obviously balanced perfectly. The one that I packaged or molded properly, I hate to say the word properly, but the ones that I molded loosely, and the way that I prefer to tell people to mold instead of jamming it tight is this one. Did not crack. It's as smooth as anything. Okay, there's a seam line. I didn't seam this. I didn't flatten it out as nicely as I should have, but there's no cracking, no nothing. It's a nice solid bomb, okay? The big bad boy that I extra, extra jam tight with way too much mix is cracking. You guys will probably have a hard time seeing this because of where it's cracking, but I'm going to try to show you. Um, it's in there around that part. You turn it over. It's all along here. It is still contained to the middle where the mix was loose. So there's a crack right through there as well. It's not super noticeable, but you get that ugly look too, right? Because you couldn't compact the bomb nice and smooth. I did the little one. I already did a test with the little one that was packed properly, so I can't show you that one. But the little one that I overpacked on purpose too is cracking. It's right down the seam, perfectly in the middle. Um, I kind of came back to the tray yesterday when they were starting to crack, and I gave them a little slight squish to kind of push them back, which you can do sometimes, unless it's too far gone. You have to get it when your mix is still a tiny bit soft and you can give it that pressure. Sometimes you can throw it back in the mold and give it a nice little squish back. Like my minions would do that sometimes, but that was because the embed toy um, was, you know, it was pushing out a bit. So I would just put that back in the mold for two seconds and squish it shut and it was fine. And this one, I gave a little bit of a squish, but I didn't, I didn't want to, I was trying to show you that they crack, so I didn't want to fix it. But that's, if you can see, it's cracking all down, all in the seam, okay? Now, the heart. When I did the heart, I said to you guys that it might have had a little bit too much mix, but I wasn't quite sure. Well, it turns out it had a little bit too much mix because it is also cracking. Not, not huge amount. Like, this could have easily been fixed, like I said, pushed it back. I don't think it's noticeable enough that you really have to worry about it, but it's still definitely cracking. You see that? And it's always in the seam because there was too much mix, okay? Too much. There's a fine line between too much, packing too tightly, and all that. The, if you can push your mold together and you're not fighting in that last little bit of seam, it's the perfect amount of mix, okay? If you're fighting with it like I did with this big bad boy where it was super, super tight, super, super tight, and then loose, it's going to crack. There's no question whatsoever, okay? The saucer one. I had it sitting this way yesterday. I got sitting in loose powder. That's not coming off the bomb. That's just loose powder from sitting here. I had it in the mold this way, so I kept the bottom mold right to keep the rim. Um, then I guess it was about maybe four or five hours afterwards I took the bottom off and I turned it over like this in, uh, in the tray and it's got a really 
Super nice, smooth texture. This was the Bling Bomb recipe that I used, so I didn't change anything up for this video. It was still my normal recipe. I did add a tiny bit more citric. I always tell you guys to do, um, what was it, one and a half? I did just under two cups of citric. And I did the two full tablespoons of cream of tartar. Everything else was absolutely the same. I mean, it was all mixed in there. That's the only thing I did differently was a little bit more citric, which is what I usually end up doing. But I usually add the end of the little extra bit of citric at the end. This time I just, I put it all in at the beginning. So, there's this one. If you wanted to use this saucer mold, if this is all you had, and you didn't want your bomb to have this saucer on it, if you wanted it to turn out like this, um, these are a bit bigger than this. This is, they're supposed to be a 2.75. They obviously end up bigger, okay? It's not a huge, like they, this size said it was a 2.75, whereas this said it was a 2.75. But there is an obvious difference in size. So I think if you were to knock this rim off, like mold it with the rim, take your mold off, and then go plump, 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 knock the rim off. You can put it back in the mold and give it a squish and it'll just fit in the circle part. That's not a problem. If you're worried about it, even stick it in this way. With the rim gone, stick it in the mold and give it a squish. That will get it more round and not oval. If you see, it's kind of almost oval, not quite round. But I love the saucer bombs, especially for kids' toy bombs, because these things just go booting through the water really cool with that extra little rim. It just does something, the way it cuts through the water. I, I'm not even... I don't know if it's the fact that there's an embed that makes it boogie, or if it's just the shape and design, or however that works, but these things boogie, and I think it's the coolest thing. But, like I said, not everybody wants the rim, so just knock it off. Mold it, knock it off, it'll fall off, you'll have a tiny bit of line, it will not be like this. Unless you've filled your sa uh, saucer mold way too high, then you'll end up with this when you knock this off. But, it's not that as bad as this. So, anyways, I guess the conclusion is, like I said, if you pack too tightly, they will crack. If there's not enough mix, they will crack. There is that fine line, and I've found that fine line to be loose, 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 two extra heaps, push them together straight. Don't twist. Don't grind them together to make them stick. It doesn't work. When you twist, they're definitely going to crack down the middle. I should have done one to show you that. They will crack when you spin because that stuff in the middle is not as binded as the whole thing when you push it all together. You have tight mix, tight mix, and you have loose mix, it's only going to stick in the middle, and then that's going to expand. If you have loose mix, loose mix, and you push them together, they go like this. And you have a nice, big, solid, one-piece, hard, hard bomb. This isn't even 24 hours, guys. This is not 24 hours. If I have to say, maybe 12 hours. And these are ready. I can actually package these. These are fine. I would probably still let them sit a couple hours, but you don't have to. They are ready to go. These are ready to package. The half hearts that I did, they're fine. It was just a half, obviously. That would have been on the same context of filling a cupcake cup. No cracking, no nothing. It's just a half. It's fine. Pack tight. You can pack the cupcakes tight. You can pack your flat molds tight. Anything like that. But when you go into spherical, sphericals or balls or two molded sided, loose packing. Okay, guys? I hope that helps you a bit. This is still usable. Mind you, it's for me now because I I'm, I would not sell a bomb that looks like this. I know you can, and I've seen them like this. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's a personal taste. But I would rather buy a bomb that looked like this than a bomb that looked like this. Just my own personal preference. But this is definitely going to get used because it's sweet grass, and you know I love sweet grass. So out of all these bombs I made, I really can't sell any of them. Because, like I said, they're all tiny. Unless I package up a couple tiny ones together. Maybe package. I would package probably four. Yeah, I'd probably package four of the meatballers together. But they're cracked, so these are going in my bath bomb jar in the bathroom. That's just what's happened. I dropped it. Dun, dun, dun. It still broke, but that's okay. It was a good break. It was a cracked one anyway. So, anyways, I hope that helps you guys. To avoid the bumps and the flatness, this is what you want. A nice muffin tin. Even the plastic ones from the store will work. That's fine. If you guys have any questions, message me. Let me know you messaged me, please, because I don't get the notifications. And that's it. Okay, guys, have an awesome day. We'll talk to you later.